So let's say you had some kind of bottle like this. Okay, so uh, the let's say this one has a radius of uh, 12.3 centimeter. Let's say there is some kind of a cap here. So there's a cap. Cap has a mass of, uh, let's say, um, 15 grams. And it has a radius of 3.8 centimeters. Okay? And let's say the height of the bottle or the container is equal to 20.5 centimeter. Okay? So, this is actually something that you could do, a kind of an experimental thing that you could do to apply Pascal's principle to this. Uh, let's say you know that this bottom surface, bottom surface, <coughs> breaks when the uh, force on it is equal to so let's say uh, the bottom surface cannot handle more force than something. Um, so let's say it is uh, something like this. Uh, let's say it's uh, a thousand newtons. And a thousand newtons of force, boom, the bottom surface falls off. And let's say you have water here. You have fresh water. So the question is going to be how much uh, you know, on top of the water and on top of the, the cap that is there, how much more force should I apply here? So how much force should be applied to the top of the cap? to break the bottom surface. How much force should be applied to the top of the cap to break the bottom surface? So again, we're going to use the, theory, the Pascal's principle. So any added pressure that I add there is going to be uh, uh, realized down here. Okay, so how much, what is, the, what is the pressure here to begin with? Well, we've got the atmospheric pressure on top. We've got the pressure due to the weight of the cap. Okay, so it could be either, it could be a cap, it could be a piston, it could be anything. Uh, so then we have the pressure at the bottom is atmospheric pressure plus uh, Rho G H, the height of the bottle, plus <coughs> the pressure due to the pressure due to the weight of the cap. We'll call that pressure cap. Okay. So uh, let's calculate all that. Pressure bottom is equal to 1.013 times 10 to the fifth plus rho, the density, and then this one is going to be fresh water, so 1,000 kilogram, 9.8, and then the height is going to be, it was 20.5 centimeters, so 0 0.205 meters, plus the pressure due to the cap. The pressure due to the cap is the, the force, the, its own weight, the force on the cap, its own weight divided by its surface area, right? So its weight it was, uh, so we have to do mg divided by its surface area for the cap. So that would be what? Uh, so it would be uh, 
let's put in the numbers now, 0 0.015 times 9.8, I change to kilogram, multiply by 9.8, divided by pi times the radius of the cap is 3.8 centimeter, so 0 0.038 square. So let's put all of this, that's going to give us the pressure at the top. So 1.013 times 10 to the power 5 plus 1000 times 9.8 times 0.205. Okay, I got 103,309. Now I got to add on top of that 0 0.015. So 2, 3, 0.015 times 9.8 divided by pi divided by the radius squared. That's the surface area of the cap. 0 0.038 squared. And uh, I got 103,341. So the pressure at the bottom It's going to be 103,341.404. Now that's at the beginning, without me coming and pushing it more. Now when I come and push it more, I exert a certain force over the surface area of the cap. I add an extra pressure on top of the cap. That pressure gets permeated all throughout and gets added to the bottom, right? So the pressure bottom total, this is the pressure bottom initial. So pressure bottom total is that plus how much force I exert divided by the surface area, right? So 103,341.404 plus force over the surface area, pi point oh three eight square okay so the my force is exerted over the smaller cap but notice what's going to happen that's going to permeate itself and it's going to distribute over a bigger su surface area right so the pressure bottom total is going to be the force realized at the bottom divided by its surface area so force bottom divided by pi times uh, its surface area is going to be pi times 0.123 squared is equal to this number plus f over pi times 0.038 squared. So this is f top, we can call that. Okay, so depending on the wording of the problem, if the problem gives you this, then you solve for that. If the problem gives you that, you solve for this. So, but that's the basic idea. So in this problem, they told us that the bottle will uh, break when the bottom experiences a force of 1,000 uh, newtons. So now we solve for F top. Okay, so essentially you calculate this, you sub uh, subtract this from that, so 1,000, calculate this, 1,000 divided by pi divided by 0.123 squared, we get 21,000, and that's 103,000. We're going to get F top is negative, right? So that doesn't make sense. So again, there's something here that we have to consider. There is, uh, since you are in a complete atmosphere, the atmospheric pressure exists everywhere. So it exists here. Here, 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 and it's also pushing the the bottom up. So the net effect of the atmospheric pressure is pushing from the top, and then you got the water, you got the cap, you got your force, but it, the atmospheric pressure is pushing from the bottom up. So the pressure total at the bottom is really uh, the pressure total at the bottom is really this thing minus the atmospheric pressure, which is known as gauge pressure, okay? So we have to subtract from all of the calculations